Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bishop Bucket 33 here from XX Mind Fortress XX here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you the MCPP Hunger Games. Um, I was teamed with iPod 2 for 2, but unfortunately he does die early in the game. I was using the Ergo Kit, and um, I we decided to rampage in the beginning. We didn't even want to go to the swamp. Um, but unfortunately iPod does die by a guy with a diamond sword, but I am able to one-shot him. Um, if you don't know what Ergo is, Ergo is basically a kit where you start out with three strength one potions, um, splash potions. Um, it is a very good team kit, very good support kit, also a very good attacking kit. Overall, it is a very good kit. I recommend trying it out. But um, as you can see down at the bottom right, you will see my kill count. I get a total of 19 kills, I think. Um... So yeah, it was a very good game. Um, me and iPod were just dominating. Um, but then when iPod does die, I do become a little bit more cautious. But I still am a little reckless, and I'm just killing a lot of people. And then of course, um, luckily, I do kill a guy that has a lot of soups. Um, and that's why I won the game. I had a diamond sword and uh, soups. That's like what you need to win the game. Um... That's like stuff you get from Feast, Diamond Swords, and Soups. But, um, so we're just traveling through the jungle, and I see iPod up ahead. And he does get killed right here, but I slow-mo it because I am able to one-shot a guy with a Diamond Sword and Iron Boots, which is, like, why I won this game. Um, because if I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to kill that guy, kill the guy that I kill later with Soups. So, um... I wanted to go in this hole, but I didn't want to at the same time because, and I decided not to because that would be a good, easy target to stompers and like people would just want to come down and kill me because of my diamond sword. So this stomper epically fails, and I'm able to hit him once, and he's done. See, strength one plus diamond sword is just oh my goodness. Now this monk is the one with soups and monks me, but I'm because of my strength, I'm able to kill him with a pickaxe. That's how good strength is, guys. Like, people say, like, um, forget, like, some people will be like, forget strength pots at the feast, but you should never forget strength pots at the feast. I don't even know why you would ever forget a strength pot at the feast, because basically, that strength is probably going to make you win the game. So I encased myself here, and um, I'm just sorting out my inventory, and then I saw that there was bowls back there, so I decide to go back and get the bowls, and uh, get... A lot of soups so um i come across two people right about here um i easily take out this one i'm pretty sure that that guy was a boxer and then i take out his friend who was not too bad at pvp so gg him um so the i don't really like boxer because i think like you can't soup while you're boxer punching people like, it's, it's just better to have a sword, in my opinion. But, um, so I come over here, and this is where I stay most of the time. I get a quick kill there, um, which was a little fishy because he kind of just dug straight down into coal. But, whatever, we have no proof that he was x-raying. Um, so yeah, I stay here most of the game. Um, I get another quick kill here. Um, this is where I'm mining my iron, but I do not get full iron because... I felt a little bit more confident because I had a diamond sword and strength. So, like, I just needed a chest plate. But right now, I was just um, kind of, like, making a little area for me to... You'll see right here, I decided to make a chest to get rid of all the loot. Um, so people would not see, like, all that loot and be like, Oh, someone has been here. Um, but as you can see... Um, many times during this game, well, only like around here, I will turn up my game computer volume, and because I turn up my computer volume, it's because, um, when I turn up my computer volume, it sounds louder to me, and I'm able to hear footsteps and stuff, so I definitely recommend wearing headphones and stuff, it's very helpful. Now, um, I'm sorry that the kill count is a little bit, like, early, like, that guy that I just killed was my 11th kill. He was not my 12th. Like, it was a little early. I'm sorry about that. Um, 
but I see a guy over here with an iron sword. I'm pretty sure he was looking for me, but he epically failed, did not know I had a diamond sword, and I was able to easily take him out. Now, I'm just looking around. I drop my compasses because I'm stupid, and then I decide to go back in this cave to see if there was any more iron, and surely there is not. But I have two ingots from killing a couple people, so I decide to cook up my iron and just wait. So I'm emptying all the stuff that I do not need. As you can see, I turned my sounds down because I feel a bit, a little bit more secure. Um, so I'm just getting iron, and I'm going to get an iron chest plate because that's what you should get. You should always try and get a chest plate first um, because it's going to help you. The chest plate gives you the most armor bars, um, and that's why you basically win the game. If you don't have a chest plate, you just have like everything else but a chest plate. You still don't feel secure enough. To go and kill people with full iron. that At least in my opinion. Um, so I see a stomper up here. Which, oh my god, is mega annoying. So I'm acting like I don't know what to do. Like I'm just not shifting. And I see a couple people over there. So I back up and decide to splash myself with strength. Get a soup in. Run in. And you will see them in about 5 seconds. Uh, they're right about here. And uh, this guy. the That one... Killer Banana decides to run away, but Easy Mind Gaming, Easy Mind Gamer HD, which is an awesome name by the way, decides to um, come in, but he is not capable of killing me because I have a diamond sword and strength, and he misses his monk and or it was on cooldown. Um, you get, definitely should watch out for those monks, guys. As you can see, I always have a sword above my so above my sword in my hot bar, but these guys are basically. The guys with full iron and how I get full iron. They one one comes up and does not have soup and I kill him. This one actually does have a couple soups I think, and I'm able to take him out though. Um, so I keep looking up because I'm afraid that that stomper is just gonna decide to jump down, and be like, "Hey, bud," and you lose and your whole game plays over. But I did not want him to come. I like was thinking about leaving, going to go and try and get someone check. But then I thought like he could easily st stomp down get full iron and probably become a threat so i decided that you know what i need to kill this guy so i craft some soups and i turn around and i get my um cobblestone out and i decide to safely tower now if you do not know how to safely tower it is just like this you tower up a little bit not enough to kill you but then you tower up like this you go like you do too high, and then you jump up to get the third one. As you can see, he's pelting with the snowballs, but nothing is happening. Then you tower up, do three, and tower up, do three. It is the safest way to tower up, and then you're able to nail stompers off, and they're not able to get away from you, um, unless they have an ender mage. But even if you did do that, you would you usually go for the ender mage. But as I predicted, he would he wanted to jump down and get full iron, and of course he did that. So that was a little nervous, but turns out since he was in the snow biome, he had no soups. And as you can see, he's running away. Um, he was he turned around and hit me with snowballs, but which was not too smart. I turned around there because I heard someone towering up with blocks. He's trying to tower up, but I'm able to hit him once, and he's done. Now, this viper in this mountain who was towering out from mining decides to come out and try and kill me. He's like, "Hello." Um, so we have a pretty nice fight. I'm quick dropping. If you do not know what quick dropping is, it's right after you drink your soup, you drop the bowl for a faster refill. So of you having to go into your, um, into your, ah, inventory and, um, put away all the bowls on your hot bar. It is able for you just to go into your inventory and you just, um, you're able just to put soups on your hot bar. Very good. Um, a quick dropper will always beat a normal super. Well, not always, but is very highly more of a chance that they will beat you. Um, you only need to quick drop in certain times if, like, it's full iron and full iron. I definitely recommend quick dropping, but if it's, like, full iron versus no armor and you're the guy with full iron, you don't need to quick drop. I have a feeling you will win that fight unless he is, like, a god quick dropper or something. But when they're trying to, like, refill real quickly, you'll be able to kill them. But So it's me and this guy. And, um, he must have been pretty new to the game, because, uh, we go through a snow biome, and he is, uh, he doesn't have much soups, uh, but unfortunately, 
he is a force field noob. He decides to go to the force field and start to mine down from there. So he was a total pain in the ass to get down to. Excuse my language. Um, I'm sorry if you're watching this video, whoever you are down there. I don't catch your name. It's like Jamie Pierce or something. Which you were, no offense, but you were a total pain in the ass to get down to. But I, would, I just had to make a wood, um, wood pickaxe. Because I wasn't able to do anything else. And of course, it breaks when I'm trying to get to him. But he could have not been a pain in the ass if I wasn't so blind. Um, because if I go up here, I go to make a cobble, uh, stone pickaxe and start to mine down again. But then I realize that his nameplate's over there. And I'm totally blind and miss that giant hole over there. So I splashed myself with strength for the lulls because he's the last guy. And I able to two-shot him with my diamond sword while he was in his chest. Uh, good game, I guess. I could say good game. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, that was the Ergo win. I got a total of 19 kills. It's going to fade away. You will see. Fade. Fade away, 19. There we go. But now I still crash, which is a shame. But I hope you guys enjoyed it game and i'll see you all next time bye guys